Hi, second graders, Mrs. Houts here. Welcome to reading class. Today is Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. This week, we have been listening to and talking about the read aloud Henry and Mudge by Cynthia Ryland. And we talked about how this is a realistic fiction book. It's a story that could happen in real life. So we've looked for characters who act like real people or animals and events that could happen to you or someone you know. So this is similar to the stories that we read in our reading groups. All those were stories that were made up. They're fiction, but they could happen. They're realistic. Please now take out your Journeys textbook, the hardcover book that you cannot write in, and turn to page 30. Page 30. That's zero ones and three tens. Page 30. Today we are going to read an informational text. You can see that it says that over here where it says genre. And an informational text gives facts about a topic. So another word that we used to call this type of text is, I'm writing at the top, nonfiction. So it's not made up. It's real. It's talking about real things. So the title of this informational text is all in the family and it's written by Katherine McKinn at the San Antonio Zoo you can see many amazing animals some of these animals may have a family member living in your neighborhood now you may notice that there's four different little squares or rectangles with information. And each of those has what's called a heading. So over on the side under the genre, it says headings. Headings are titles for different parts of a section. So while this whole informational text is called All in the Family, we have different headings to tell us what those little rectangles or squares are going to be about. Let's start with the red box, different kinds of dogs. Bush dogs live in Central America and South America. They have straight brown fur. In the wild, they eat large rodents. So like rats and other creatures like rats. Pet dogs come in all shapes and sizes. They may have floppy ears or curly hair. They eat food made for dogs. Pet dogs should wear collars. So there's different kinds of dogs. There's bush dogs. Make sure you don't write in your book. I'm going to highlight on here, but don't write in yours. Bush dogs. That is a picture of right there. And then it talked about pet dogs. Next one, cats of all sizes. Lions belong to the cat family. They can grow up to eight feet tall, or sorry, eight feet long. Some have stood four feet tall. Lions hunt big animals in the wild. Most house cats do not weigh more than 15 pounds. They mostly eat special food for cats. However, some cats like to hunt for mice or birds. So that rectangle talked about different types of cats, lions, and then the cats that you might have at your house or at your family member or friend's house. Go ahead and turn the page. Large lizards. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards. 
they can grow to 10 feet long. Some have weighed 500 pounds. The saliva of a Komodo dragon is dangerous. So that's the saliva means the spit, like from their mouths. You would not want to be drooled on by a Komodo dragon. Little lizards. Geckos belong to the lizard family. They are about eight inches long. Adult geckos weigh about one to two ounces. They're really, really, really small. Geckos eat insects. They can eat 10 crickets in a row. The informational text that we just read compared and contrasted different animals in the same animal family. So compare and contrast. When you compare and contrast, you think about what is the same and what is different. You might use some keywords like both, like, to, also, but, and however. So in this example, they're think looking at dogs and cats. And right here, they're writing about dogs. Right here, they're writing about cats, how they're different from each other. In this middle area, it talks about how they are similar, how they are alike. So these circles, these circles that we're using are it's called a Venn diagram. Can you say that out loud at home? Venn diagram. So we're going to use a Venn diagram to choose one of the animals in our informational text that we read today and compare and contrast it to Mudge. So think about how that animal is the same or different from Mudge. So you actually have a paper with this Venn diagram, this exact one, that I gave to you in your pocket sleeve. On one side of the paper, it has the alphabet, and then if you flip it over, you should see this Venn diagram. So you can pause this video and go look for that. If you can't find that paper, you can draw the circles yourselves on your pocket sleeve or on another piece of paper. So I'm going to choose one animal from our informational text, all in the family, to compare and contrast to Mudge. You can write the same animal that I do, or you can listen to this and then choose a different animal to compare and contrast on your own on your own pocket sleeve or paper. So I'm going to compare and contrast Mudge and Lions. So that means on this side of the Venn diagram, I will say information about Mudge that's different from Lions. On this side, I will say information about Lions that's different than much. And in the middle, I will say what's similar about them or alike about Mudge and Lions. So again, you can follow along and write the same things as me and maybe add more detail after, or you can listen and then choose your own animal from our informational text to compare and contrast to Mudge. So I'm going to start with both in the middle because that helps me to see right away what they have in common. And I'm going to draw like a little line to make a list of things. So the first thing I thought of is that they're both alive. They're both animals. They both have fur. 
What else is similar about lions and much? You can go back in your journeys book and look at that little yellowish orange square and read about lions. I noticed that in our informational text, it says that some lions have stood four feet tall. And if you remember from our story, Mudge is, when he grows, he's about three feet tall. So we could put for both that they are tall. I think that's good for my both list. Remember, if you are comparing and contrasting the same, you can add more. Now let's look at Mudge's side. He is a pet. Is a lion a pet? Nope. It is a wild animal. It doesn't have an owner or a house. It lives in the wild. Thinking about their fur, the color of Mudge's fur is like a peach and a brown color. So Mudge has peach and brown fur. And what's the color of lions? You can look in your book. It looks like they have like orangish reddish color fur. It's like a mix of a different few different colors. So we can put orange slash red fur. Hmm. What else is different about them? Well, I just looked in my journeys book and I reread the sentence, lions hunt big animals in the wild. So on the lion side, we can say they hunt. So they go after those animals to eat them as food. They hunt big animals. And what kind of food does Mudge eat? He eats dog food. And who do you think feeds him? Does he get the food himself? Does he like hunt for it? No, Henry probably feeds him. So he eats dog food. We can write that Henry gives him. And we're, we are making an informed guess, a prediction that Henry gives him that food because we don't know that for sure. But based on what we know, we can make that guess. So we have now filled out a Venn diagram comparing and contrasting Mudge and Lions. Go ahead and finish filling out your Venn diagram or if you want to do a different animal, go ahead and start that. And this Venn diagram is optional to turn in to Seesaw, which means you can take a picture and turn this in to show me or take a video and read it to me, but you do not have to. Thank you, second grade.